Kia ora, Cordia ho, how am I? Welcome to our five minute maker space. Today we are making a zoetrope. So if you're into movie making or things of, of that ilk, you might be interested in this one. You are going to need a few special things though today, but some of them, I've actually made them myself. So let's go through what you're going to need. You need two lids. Now, I didn't have any lids of, that are circular, so I created mine out of uh, tape, of empty tape, and I've just glued a circle that I uh, traced around and just stuck on the bottom. So I've managed to get two, and you'll see that I've decorated both of mine as well. I've just got a little bit of ribbon on this one, and I have spray painted this one. You don't need to do that if you don't want to, and or you can leave it to the end. We're also going to need a little bit of modeling clay, or if you don't have that, you could use blue tack if you needed to. We need some cork, a button, a map pen, so that's one of those small ones. Um, and then we need some white paper, some black paper, you'll need a ruler, and you'll need a pen to do some drawing, or if you're lucky like me, I found some stickers that are square in shape that I'm going to use for ours. So, come in, let's take a closer look. First of all, let's find the middle of our lid. So I'm going to just turn it over. The easiest way to do this is to measure across, and we're going to try and do this as exactly as possible. I'm going to measure across where it's seven centimeters, and I'm going to put a line. Then come down to where it also measures seven centimeters, and draw another line. Now, draw a diagonal line, joining both of those at the edge. Where these lines intersect is the middle of your circle. So I'm just going to make a hole with my map pen. All right, now I'm going to bring in my bottom lid, one that I've actually made. I'll just press that through right now. But what I'm then going to do is I'm going to lift it off, I'm going to place on the button. Now that'll just go through one of those holes. Then I'm going to place that through again. And then underneath, I'm just going to press on that cork. So you don't want the cork to be any higher than the height of the bottom lid. And that should move around relatively freely. Now let's take our black piece of paper. We wanted approximately 6.5 centimetres high and we want it to fit around the inside edge of the lid. So place it round the inside. Make a mark and trim it to suit. Now we're going to make some windows, very small windows inside the black piece of paper. Make some lines that are about three centimetres apart and make them about four centimetres deep. So let's mark that up to start with. There's four centimetres there and four centimetres there. And now let's measure every three centimetres along. Now cut lines into here. They're going to be little rectangles. Make them about two to three millimetres wide. Place the 
the white paper on top of the black paste and secure it with a little bit of tape or some glue. You can mark this or just eyeball where you want your pictures to go. Think of your picture as a frame and you want each to line up such that it appears to move when the animation starts. So, I'm going to try doing so with my images here. I'm going to have them moving slightly on each frame. So I'm just gonna place them at a slightly different angle. If you're drawing, you'll need to do the same. Now lift it up. Bring in your stage. And place the piece inside. You can secure it with a little bit of tape. Now, I'm just going to trim that little piece down. Now, we can spin the zoetrope and watch the animation through the slits. You'll need to get down at eye level through here for it to be effective. And why does it work? Because when you spin the zoetrope, you can see each of the pictures one at a time in quick succession. And our brain tries to make sense of what our eyes take in. It interprets the rapidly changing pictures as movement, so we can see a continuous moving picture. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Don't forget to like and subscribe, or let us know how you went in the comments. Thanks for joining me. Ka kite.